Hey Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you how to collect the seeds from a Dichondra Silver Falls plant. So let's go. I absolutely love Dichondra Silver Falls. I think it's a beautiful accent foliage in any container or pot. And you even can have it in your landscape if you really want to. Here where I live in Zone 5B in New Hampshire, it's considered an annual. However, I do know that it is considered a perennial in certain zones. Oftentimes when you're shopping for your plants in the early spring months, you will find this plant along with other great accent plants. Last summer, I bought one plant. I just bought it because I wanted to see if I could overwinter it. That was the main purpose for me buying it. I did put it in a pot. It looked really pretty, but then I dug it out in the fall and I was able to successfully overwinter that plant in my garage, which stays between 30 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit during the cold winter months. And then this spring, I was able to successfully divide that Dichondra Silver Falls plant, and I put it in a number of my containers and window boxes. This past fall, I made a video and I showed you my process for just digging out the Dichondra Silver Falls, how I cut it back, and I put it in a pot, and guess what? It is now living in my garage. I have a number of plants, in fact, and I'm so excited because each year, if I keep doing this process, I'm just going to keep adding to my collection so I can put them in my pots. And you know what that means. That saves me a lot of money. Now, if you are only going to make one pot or one container every year, by all means, it makes sense to just keep buying the plants that you need. But when you have a whole bunch of different hanging baskets, container pots, window boxes, whatever it may be, it can get very expensive. And I know I like to have a lot of different plants in all those type of containers. When it comes to designing different containers or pots, it always is nice to have some sort of a thriller, which is the taller plant, and then some sort of a filler, which is basically filling out the pot, and then a spiller, which in this case could be a Dichondra Silver Falls. It always looks so pretty spilling out of a container. I just love it. Did you know you can collect the seeds from a Dichondra Silver Falls plant? I did not. And even though I'm overwintering the plant in my garage, I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to try to start this plant from seeds for the simple reason that I was able to successfully find the seeds on this plant. And that's why I'm making this video. I want to show you what to look for when it comes to the seed pot as well as the seeds. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at what to look for when you're looking for a Dichondra Silver Falls seed pod. So what I did was I took off just a few pieces off of my main Dichondra Silver Falls plant. And these have been drying for a number of weeks. What you're looking for when it comes to the Dichondra Silver Falls is you will see a lot of foliage, but if you start looking around, you will find these little teeny tiny little seed pods. And I don't remember seeing any flowers, but when I saw the seed pods, I'm like, whoa, what is that? So I'm just showing you, and I will be showing you a close up of the seed pod, but right here is where the seed pod is. It's pretty small. And typically within each seed pod, you will find about two seeds. So let's go ahead and open one of the seed pods. I'll pick this one right here. And all you have to do is just barely squeeze it within your, with your fingers. And when you do that, you'll see here's one seed that fell out. And there's the other seed that fell out. They're actually a pretty good size seed, I would say. And you can see I've already collected a number of seeds over here. Now, I know that you can buy the seeds for Dichondra Silver Falls, but again, if I already have the plant, why not try to collect the seeds myself? When it comes to storing my seeds, I like to use a small Ziploc bag like this one here, and you can use a paper bag or some sort of a container or jar. The big thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that the seeds are completely dry. You never want to store your seeds wet, otherwise they can rot. And I like to label the bag with what the plant is. So it's Dichondra Silver Falls, the year that I collected it, so 2023. And I put a dime here 
just so you know the size of the bag and seeds as well as the seed pod compared to the dime. If you've watched many of my seed videos, I want to explain something. The reason I like to put the year on the bag is because I want to know what year the seeds were collected. There's a likelihood that sometimes I will not be using all the seeds when I'm sowing them in the winter or the springtime. So I might be carrying some seeds over from year to year. And when it comes to our seeds that we collect, they do lose viability as each year goes by. So it's a good idea just to put down what year you collected your seeds. What you're looking at now on your screen is a close-up shot at what the seed pods look like as well as the seeds of the Dichondra Silver Falls. This winter, I plan on sowing these seeds indoors under my grow lights. I will be showing you the process for doing that. This is a type of plant that definitely requires a number of weeks when you're growing them indoors. So it's one of the earlier plants I'll be starting from seed. And in the late winter, early spring, when I start bringing out the plants that I'm overwintering in my garage, I'll show you how those look. And then late spring into early summer, as the plant starts growing, I'll also show you a way of propagating the plant through a method called layering. And here is a big piece of Dichondra Silver Falls that I still need to go through, and I still need to pick off the seed pods and take out the seeds from it. So I'll be busy, but I'm glad that I have collected so many seeds already from this just this one big vine here. I'd love to hear from you. Have you grown Dichondra Silver Falls? Do you buy the plant every year? Does this type of video help you? Do you think you're going to try to propagate it through dividing, through layering, or starting it from seed? Let me know. Drop a comment below. Until the next video, make it a great day with gardening.